Okay, today we are going to examine this patient. Uh, basically, he presented uh, initially with parietal bleeding uh, and also change of bowel habit, and he was noted to have rectal uh, tumor. And because of that, uh, he underwent uh, defunctioning uh, or diverting loop thrombus colostomy. Okay, uh, this is how you examine a patient with a stoma. First, we need to check whether the patient has any scar, okay, indicating uh, approach for surgery. Sometimes they have midline laparotomy, sometimes they have um, uh, laparoscopic uh, scar, okay, like this patient, okay, uh, he doesn't have any laparoscopic scar, no uh, midline laparotomy scar as well. So, based on this, I expect this patient had trephine uh, thrombus colostomy. Okay, so you need to uh, uh, check or comment on the stoma itself. Okay, based on the location, this is located on the right upper quadrum, uh, which indicating possibly this is from the thrombus uh, colon. And uh, you need to comment on the stoma bag itself. This is one piece. Uh, type and it's a uh, drainable or open type okay and you need to comment on the stoma itself uh, like this patient he has a well-formed stool which indicating this is a large bowel and patient has dual opening okay this area and this area okay and you can see uh, a connecting or posterior wall of the mucosa indicating this is a loop stoma and you need to comment which part is the proximal and distal okay based on the normal anatomy uh, this indicating the proximal part and this is the distal part okay ideally you need to open up the stoma bag and then recheck uh, by yourself to to see the patency of the uh, of the lumen and also uh, to check the surrounding skin eh? especially whether the, this patient has skin excoriation or not uh, uh, from this alone you can comment because the stoma bag is covering eh? the surrounding skin other than that you can uh, comment whether the stoma has uh, prolapse retraction any uh, bleeding eh? so on okay uh, other than that you need to comment whether this patient has paratomarmia as well okay